Uh, Chase Bank is moving to uh, avoid debit card fraud. They're upgrading ATM machines so they're no longer vulnerable to skimmers. So the way they're doing this, allowing customers to use cell phones instead of bank cards. So Nikki, I guess for Chase customers, this means you really do have to have a smartphone and then you better not lose it or else you put yourself in jeopardy. <laughs> Uh, that's exactly right. And you better have that smartphone password protected as well. That's because in order to avoid fraud, in order to get rid of the skimmers, the ATM that you see here behind me, by the end of the year, all of these all across the country are going to be replaced with a new ATM. And the way it will work is you'll come up to the ATM, you'll have your smartphone with you, you'll log into the Chase mobile app, and then the ATM will give you a code. You'll put that code into your phone, and then you can do all the banking from your smartphone, even withdrawing money. And there are some other changes, too, that are coming to Chase. All right, so you know how usually customers have a limit on what they can take out of the bank? Well, now customers will be able to withdraw $3,000 with this new system. That's several times more than the current limit on most ATMs. Plus, you can now, well, once these new ATMs are in, you'll be able to get cash in multiple denominations, unlike the majority of machines that limit you to $20 bills. The new machines will also allow customers to cash checks and make payments on their Chase credit cards and or mortgage bills. And the new machines are supposed to eventually replace tellers, but only after they get the system operating and the ATMs are doing more transactions than face-to-face -face bankers each and every month. Now, they're not getting rid of tellers altogether. In fact, what's going to be happening inside the bank, you know how you usually walk up to the counter to see a teller? Well, by the end of this year, that won't be the case in any Chase branch. The tellers will actually be roaming the lobby floor. They'll come in, they'll greet you, they'll take you over to an area where you can do your specialty banking inside. There are a, a little more than, um, than 20 Chase branches here in the Jacksonville area. Not sure when these are going to be replaced, but when we find out, we'll of course let you know. We're live in San Marco. Nikki Kimbleton, Channel 4, The Local Station.